camera movement techniques, the vertigo effect. Vertigo effect is one of the most interesting techniques usually used in horror movies to give the viewer a strong emotional impact. In vertigo effect, the camera zooms in on a target, but at the same time, during the zoom, there is a continuous perspective distortion that messes with the mind of the viewer. People watching think that they are moving near an object, but the background is moving far away. In real life, they use a zooming lens to change the field of view of the camera. In Max, we will do the same. Here's how. So here's our project. And for the purpose of this lecture, I added a fountain in front of the villa here. Let's create a physical camera next to the entrance here and the target at the villa. Go to the other viewport, press C and adjust the first frame shot. In the first frame, I want to show the whole facade of the villa together with the fountain. We will move the camera backward, but we can't go too far cause there is a door here. In this case, we will go to the camera properties and decrease the focal length, giving us a wider view. We will also select camera target and move it upwards using the spinner on the Z axis. Now the first frame is set nicely. Let's animate the camera. First, let's set the timeline to 300 frames. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus right click and drag the timeline to the right till it becomes exactly 300. Let's open the auto key go to frame 300 and let's move in with the camera using the dolly tool. Now that I moved in, I still want the fountain to be in my view. I will use the middle mouse button to pan the camera downwards. Now the basic animation is created. The trick here is to animate the focal lens here. Let's decrease it till we have a nice end frame. Let's set it to 20 and press enter. And let's select the camera target and move it upwards till we have a nice end shot. And now the vertigo effect is created. Camera moves in while the background seems to go far, giving the viewer this strong emotional impact while emphasizing the beauty of the fountain. Let's close the auto key, go to frame 0, maximize the viewport and go tools, preview, grab viewport and create preview animation. Check the settings and press create. Vertigo effects can also be done nicely on far cameras, but not as good as zooming in on a target. So that's it for the vertigo effect camera movement, one of the best tricks to make an impact on the viewers.